Hello everyone, how's it going? So it's been a while since I've done the, the last dev video on Easy Game Utility. So I just wanted to do a update video on what I've been up to with the program. So straight away on the home screen now you will see at the bottom that it says you will need to be running EGU as an administrator for best results. And that's because some things within the program do run better as an admin. Um, there is a button on the right hand side here you can see which you can click and then it just relaunched the program as a admin with admin privileges. So something else that I've been up to is on the game booster tab. You can now see that it has a auto detect games and start game boost. So what you can do here is tick the box, go on to open and if I was to add say notepad but I would actually add a game so Call of Duty or Battlefield or something like that but anyway what you can do is add your game to the list, click on close, and then if you were to then minimize Easy Game Utility and then open up your game. So once your game has launched, Easy Game Utility will now detect that your game is open and it is then going to automatically start Game Booster. So it does actually have a time on it, so it takes 60 seconds for it to detect and it will then go ahead and launch that. So it's not done it just yet because obviously it's not been enough time, but it will do in a minute. So something else as well that I've added to Easy Game Utility is an option to actually clear the cache files for your Xbox games. So if I open up the program again, and it's probably there we go, it's gone into game boost mode anyway, you can see it's now detected notepad. So I'm just going to turn that off for a second. Right, so if you go across to, uh, where were we going to, the launch tab, and then go on to GL2. So if you then go onto the Xbox app, you can now right click onto the games. So for example, I don't know, let's use Coral Island as an example. You can right click on it and go clear game cache. This is then going to clear the game cache for the game. Obviously there isn't any at the moment because I've not played it for a long time. But yeah, that's a nice little cool feature that I've added. You do need to have the pro version for some of the features that I'm talking about in this video by the way. Such as clearing the game files cache on the Xbox app here. And also the other option that you've just seen on the game booster. Auto detect games and start with game booster. You can also see here at the top on the game booster, it's got a option that says auto game detect currently on. And you can see it's now just turned it back on again because notepad's still on and I've got that ticked. So I'm just going to turn that off and untick that and let's just close that notepad anyway because we don't need to see that working anymore. So on the fix tab, not a lot's changed here apart from down the bottom here now it pops up. Saying that, you know, to restart um, EGU as an administrator as it will run better. But one thing that I have added is the dead pixel option. So if you click onto here now, you can see we've got some colors. You can click onto these colors and that's just simply going to show a color. So for example, if I click on the white one and then if I click again, so this allows me to see if there's any dead pixels or stuck pixels. If I click, I can then click on close, next or, you know, next color and stuff. You can also click on start test and this is just going to do like a slideshow and go through the colors. We then have attempt fix. So you can actually use this on the free version, but there is a time limit on how long, then it pops up and you need to just then close the message and then carry on. But if you've got the pro version, it's an unlimited amount of time. So you can click on attempt fix, and this is just going to attempt to fix those stuck pixels. So you can see there, we've got window, you can enlarge this, change the size of it and stuff. So that's quite cool if Obviously, you're having issues with stuck pixels and stuff on your monitor. Hopefully, it might resolve the issue. If it doesn't, then that's just obviously a shame. But yeah, the option's there anyway. Other than that, that's pretty much where I've got to with Easy Game Utility lately. Um, I've still been adding a few more games as well to the game list. You can see here where you can then find your save data and config files. So as always, if you want to help support the program, then you can purchase the Pro. There is currently a promotion on, so it's got a bit of money off as well. So you can check that out in the link in the description below. 
And yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to click the subscribe. Also, actually, I've just noticed one more thing that I added recently as well. I've added up here as well a little feedback icon. I absolutely love it when you all give me feedback. It helps improve the program and the other programs and stuff as well if you use those. Um, and also we've got a little notification pop up here, which you can then click on the link to go to feedback. That just basically I can send messages and stuff on here, um, notifications, which is pretty cool. So yeah, like I just said, anyway, subscribe if you want to see more videos.